How are things going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. If you watched my previous video where I combined two missions into one video, I explained that the next group of missions are necessary to progress forward to the big Ocean's Eleven style heist CJ has planned. In this case, this mission is the one that follows up to misappropriations. And Tenpenny calls CJ after he completes the free fall mission and asks, asks him, does he have the dozier? And CJ replies yes, and now they have to meet up in a desert town where it's obvious, obviously a setup. And so I'm going to explain some things to make things go a little smoother for CJ because not only is Tenpenny a big douchebag, but you realize how big of a douchebag Pulaski is. And this mission highlights, yeah, Pulaski is a major, major douchebag. And unfortunately, in this mission, High Noon, CJ has to chase Pulaski around. And there are some things that you can do that will make this mission go a whole lot more smoothly. and. I'm going to be skydiving in here to this mission because it really doesn't matter how you get to the mission. It's just that you will get to this mission. And again, I'm going to explain some things to make this a lot easier. Before you start this mission, change your target lock options. And you go to your menu and you click on options. Redefine controllers or actually game and target aim mode. Lock on, no, turn it to free aim. And I'll explain further on in the mission why you do this. Hope we didn't keep you waiting, Holmes. No, I was just chilling. <laughs> I bet you were. At the dossier, hand it over. Hey, everything cool now? I don't know, Carl. Eddie? Ah, our boy's done good. No! Oh! You snitch piece of shit! You bato asshole! You sold us out! Time to dig, Carl. You take care of things. Huh? Where are you going? To get drunk and get laid. You got a problem with that? No, Frank, relax. Good. I'll see you back at the precinct. And I'll see you in the next life, Carl. That's good. That's deep enough for two. Eddie, Tampenny's just using you. He's using all of us. You're the next one he's gonna silence, man. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die! The reason you switch to free aim is you can't shoot Pulaski, but you shoot out his tires on his vehicle. And... That makes it easier to chase Pulaski. As you notice, he's driving all crazy now, and he can't get away from CJ real quickly. You have to keep hitting him and shooting the car. 
and Pulaski says some nasty things. So I'm going to let this mission play out and let you hear them. Carl, you got it all wrong, pal. Ten Penny was the one saving your ass. Every time I wanted to get rid of you, he'd find some excuse to keep you alive. Well, now it's up to me, and I ain't such a fucking soft touch. So how's your sister? I always had a thing What are you for doing? Her. Ten Penny and I got some great shots of her and her burial boyfriend going at it like a couple of horny chihuahuas. Man, does she put out like a pro. Screw you, Pulaski. I know what you're trying to do, and you ain't gonna crawl inside my head. I ain't kidding. It's the best stakeout I ever done. Kyle, you should have seen your mom's before she was buried. She was a real mess. Most of her face was hanging off. Don't fucking talk about my mom's. The boys, you know, they fooled around with her at the scene, you know. Can tell Pulaski is talking trash about CJ and his mom, and he's just goading CJ constantly. If you've shot out his tires, it's very difficult for him to drive. And unfortunately, you can't keep getting clear shots of him because you got to keep shooting his vehicle and ramming his vehicle in order to finally get him to abandon it when it goes on fire. And if Pulaski has four tires working, it's way more difficult and he can actually get away from you. That is why you keep strafing or strafe his tires. If you shoot out at least one of his tires, it makes it that much more difficult for him to get away. And you keep shooting at him with a submachine gun and you keep ramming his vehicle until he finally is brought down. And in this case, he is now going to be brought down. You got a lot of dumb people here interfering, but and they're trying to pull Pulaski out of his vehicle. Um, I'm sorry to say, gun down the civilians if you have to, but you got to keep shooting Pulaski's car and getting a good aim on it, run over the civilians, but just keep blasting Pulaski's car until the end. And this is actually where I think finally things end up and Pulaski meets his downfall. And when you do get Pulaski to abandon his vehicle, switch to target lock again so you can kill him and take him down. Hopefully this is going to end because I haven't really previewed the video, but I'm going to keep lighting this. Yep, this is where things play out. Not feeling so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <coughs> yeah, well, them's the brakes, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. <laughs> Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end. Punk motherfucker. Odd part is Pulaski's vehicle went from from flaming wreck to perfect condition. It's a nice buffalo, and you might as well keep it and drive it around a little bit or wreck it. This mission is annoying as heck if you don't shoot out the tires, and you have to redo it a million times sometimes. That is why you want to shoot out Pulaski's tires. Now you get a call from Ken Rosenberg after this, and I'll let that play out. Hello? You've hung us out to dry, I know it. Rosenberg? Yeah, soon to be wearing concrete shoes in a shallow grave in the desert, Rosenberg. I'm surprised you remember. Look, I ain't forgot y'all, man. Just hang in there. Easy for you to say. This Salvatore guy might whack me at any moment.
8K viewers. I had to splice in some more footage here because once I got into the safe house and saved, I stopped recording. That call from Ken Rosenberg sets up the next mission that CJ has to do, and I'm going to be doing a video of it uh, next time I post a video. I thank the subscribers and the people who've liked these videos. If you are watching this for the first time, please subscribe. Uh, it helps me move toward possibly monetizing the videos that I do. And, you know, if you subscribe, I like that. I appreciate that because it means my videos are at least worth watching when I post them. So please subscribe, hit the bell, you get notified, etc., all that fun stuff. And I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by. How may I further degrade myself, sir? Hope you choke a doodle doo.